Miss Lauren Lee and today I'm going to be showing you five tips on what I use to grow my small YouTube channel as well as being a stay at home mom. So if you want to know these tips, carry on watching. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm doing something completely different on my channel. Usually I talk about natural hair as I am a natural hair vlogger, but today I will be telling you something that I am quite proud of myself and I would like to share it with you. I'll be showing you how to get 100 subscribers a month as a small YouTube channel and just growing your channel. Okay guys, so the first tip I have for you is research. If you have already actually started a YouTube channel but are struggling to grow it or you've grown it to a certain extent but you've become stagnant at the moment. So let me start from the beginning. If you are on your YouTube channel, research your audience, find out what your audience likes, but I'd say definitely base your channel around something that you specifically like. So my thing is my natural hair. That's my little niche because I've got natural hair. I know a lot about my natural hair and I feel that there are things that I can teach my audience. So my audience would be the natural hair community, right? Goes hand in hand. <laughs> so that is easy for me. So now I've got my target audience. What you don't want to do is look on your YouTube and just type in into the search bar natural hair videos, let's say, see what comes up, see what's trending, see what people are actually looking for. So when you type in the suggested videos, you can actually see some of the suggestions coming up as to what people actually want to see. So therefore natural hair journey, let's say, or natural hair wash and go. So these are things that you could actually look into creating a video about because these are things that people have actually searched for. Therefore it will attract an audience and gain some subscribers. Look at the topics as I said, so natural hair, let's say if you are a gamer, if you, you know, something that you enjoy, start off with something that you definitely enjoy because it is work guys. Don't get me wrong. It is a lot of work, but if it's something you enjoy, Enjoy, the it will kind of balance itself out if that makes sense now this leads me on to my next subject that I was just saying consistency post frequently guys so make sure your audience knows when you're gonna post so for instance I post on Mondays and Thursdays well I should be posting on Mondays and Thursdays recently I've been kind of scattering the days around but I have got enough subscribers notified that when I do upload a video they get a notification straight away those are my my little subscribers thank you guys I'm meant to be uploading two videos a week I have slacked recently and I will get into that in a bit later on and how it does you know dip but decide how many videos you're going to be uploading if you've got the time this is the great thing about what I find about creating videos and having my YouTube channel I can work around my kids schedule so whilst they're at school I can work from let's say 9 30 10 o'clock to 2 30 and I can just squeeze that all in but I would say definitely post frequently it's, think of your channel kind of like um a TV show let's say if you were going to watch TV show let's say friends because friends is my favorite <laughs> you know friends is gonna come on Friday night at 8 o'clock and then Monday at 4 o'clock so you're gonna be waiting for that right you're gonna get yourself all prepared gonna get your cup of tea gonna get your little snacks and then what happens it doesn't come on on that day on the Friday right so then Saturday evening at 9 o'clock it comes on you're like what happened <laughs> okay you want to be consistent you want your subscribers to know when you're on okay and they want to be able to trust you let's say they want to know when their favorite youtuber is going to be on <laughs> sometimes it is hard keeping to the schedule but try and keep it as close as possible and if you can't keep to that schedule notify your subscribers what I mean by that is use your social media if you've got Instagram and they're already following you on Instagram Give them a little post, give them a little heads up. Say, unfortunately, you know, today's video will be postponed until tomorrow. So they are actually aware, but don't make it a habit, guys. Just try as you can. As I said, it is demanding, but try as you can. The way I do it, I've got two children. So obviously editing and filming, like what I'm doing now, when my children are home, it's kind of a no-go. So I have to do it in a time that I have, which is when they're at school. Okay, so what I tend to do is I prioritize myself. So I give myself a little work business meeting at the end of each month, <laughs> I have a meeting with myself. Yes, I do. <laughs> and what I tend to do is to the end of every month, I prepare for the following month. So I have a set of videos that I would like to go for. Let's say this month, 
So let's say I do two videos a week. So that's two, four, six, eight. I'll set myself about 10 videos just in case I don't want to do, I want to change the ideas a bit. So I'd say maybe about, set yourself about 10 to 12 video ideas for the month if you are going to upload twice a week. That's how I do it. So what we've got so far is research the topic that you want to do and what you want your channel to be based upon and kind of stick to that niche. You don't necessarily want to do natural hair videos and then go and do driving cars and then go and do how to knit because it's, you know, you've got different channels for that. If you put it all in one, somebody's be, gonna be coming to your channel looking for how to do a natural hairstyle and then you're showing them how to knit so then they will be clicking off so then you won't be getting the video watch time retention that you need sometimes i do get stunted because like last month i didn't organize myself properly life just caught up with me and i didn't manage to arrange all my videos that i wanted to do for this month so the last couple of weeks my videos have slumped and i have gone down to one video a week for the last couple of weeks or so, so number three now you've got your video idea your channel idea the next thing is to catch the audience's attention. Creating a catchy thumbnail. It's like an advert, you're marketing yourself. You go out and you see a billboard of a juicy hamburger. It's gonna catch your attention, right? Well, unless you're a vegetarian. <laughs> but okay, let's say something, um, see a nice bunch of sweets on a billboard, okay? That's gonna catch, catch your attention, okay? So if it's, um, if your thumbnail is drab, and just plain or it's just part of your video where it's just like say like I'm talking now and I just go and that's part of my thumbnail it's not gonna be super super eye grabbing really is it you've got to make it bold you've got to use I suppose you can use bright colors um, nice big large font so they can immediately just spot it and say okay I'm gonna click on that because it grabs you okay think about it when you're looking when you're scrolling for YouTube videos again I'm gonna use natural hair search terms because that's my niche <laughs> so if i'm searching natural hair videos i'm gonna go to one where they've either got a beautiful bright big picture with curly hair or am i just gonna go to one where it has a hair product more so i'm gonna go to the one with nice big curly hair nice bold letters because that's what grabs my eye i want to see how i can get my hair like that advertise in that picture what your video is about and how the outcome is going to be i.e with having natural curly hair this video is going to show you how to get your hair like this okay makes sense good <laughs> right so let's move on this is my favorite one is to make interesting videos now if you don't know what interesting videos are this is simple just sit back and think what would you like to watch what is it that you find funny? Do you like funny videos? Do you like straightforward talking videos? Do you like videos with music? Do you like videos that have different shots, different angles? Or do you like videos with memes or what have you? So make interesting videos. Like in my videos, I like to put in memes because I'm funny, I don't take myself too seriously. Well, I like to think I'm funny. You know, what you're talking about, try and make it flow it is hard to talk in front of a camera because you kind of feel like you're talking to yourself and then when you get the notion like okay i'm not talking just at the camera i'm talking to people oh my gosh are they going to judge me imagine you're just having a two-way conversation with your friend like i'm having with you you're my friend i'm having a conversation <laughs> giving you some friendly advice <laughs> that's how you have to see it see as you can see i'm laughing i'm sitting in front of a camera right now laughing and in actual fact, I'm laughing to myself. I hope you guys are laughing with me. Don't make it false. Don't try and be like another YouTuber. Try and just bring your personality out. It is hard at first, but if you are struggling behind the camera, try talking to yourself before you start filming in the phone or in the mirror, what have you, and just loosen up. It's fine. Though so you can't please everybody, but do what you know your audience are looking for, okay? With making interesting videos as well, don't forget to ask your subscribers or potential subscribers to subscribe. It's that simple, just ask them, just ask. Like now, I'm gonna ask you, please subscribe. Go ahead, go ahead, subscribe. <laughs> By the way, I do do natural hair videos, guys, so if you are interested in natural hair, press subscribe and hit the notification bell. There you go, simples. <laughs> right, okay, so this leads me on to my tip number five try to use social media as a marketing tool now i am terrible at this because i'm not a fan of social media in that sense try and use it basically every time i upload a video i'll upload my thumbnail as a post 
And I'll also do a little, um, what are they called on Instagram? Little story, not story times, what are they? <laughs> the little story bits. I try and use that. So guys, I do say social media is an excellent marketing tool for one, it is free. You have to know how to optimize though. And what I mean by optimize is the keywords that you use, the hashtags that you use. So those are my five tips. So the first one being do your research. Number two, be consistent. Number three, create a catchy thumbnail. Number four, make the video interesting. And number five, try to use social media as a marketing tool. Okay guys, so now I've said all that, I'm gonna go on to what I was talking about before, why my video has dipped. I'm just gonna show you um, the amount of subscribers that I've gained. I gained, on average, I gained about between 120, 140 subscribers a month. So what I do is I've just rounded it up for you and just said 130, let's say, or 100 subscribers plus, how I've gained 100 subscribers, okay? So what's happened is I haven't been as frequent in my uploads as I said. What I've been doing recently is, not that I've been forgetting to upload, I just have not had the time. I literally been having busy weekends, or organizing myself correctly, and therefore I haven't had the time to film, and then I haven't had the time to edit, and also I'm working on my kids' YouTube channel also. So what's happened is, as you can see, April to May, you can see how many subscribers I've had here, and the amount of subscribers I have, 181 subscribers okay and that was because I was frequently like, uploading around the same time so I usually upload Mondays as I said and Thursdays between 2 30 and 4 30 okay those are the best times for me um, if I have to upload around 4 30 I've, I've scheduled the upload because by that time I have to be doing the school run from May to June as well, I have gained 147 subscribers. The 1st of June to the 1st of July, my subscribers went down that month, so I've only gained 128. That's still not bad, but it's not great, because obviously you don't want your subscriber count to go down. But this, guys, I'm telling you, this is because I have not been consistent, okay? And this is what will happen. But I'm still getting above the 100, 100 plus subscribers, as I was mentioning to you. It is doable, guys, if you follow those five tips, okay? So as you can see guys, the last couple of months I have dwindled a little bit and I have come to myself that stagnant point in my channel, which is fine because I know it will pick it back up. I know what I need to do to pick it back up. I know I need to be consistent and I know I need to post a bit more on my Instagram and my Facebook just to let people know, you know, come on, have a look at my channel, <laughs> invite yourself. <laughs> But guys, that is it. This is the proof that, you know, you put in the work, you get the good results. If you don't put in the work, you don't get the good results. So therefore, those are my tips on how to gain at least 100 subscribers a month. I went from, at the start of my channel, I went from gaining, sorry, about eight subscribers, if I was lucky, a month, to over 100 a month, okay? so. Guys, you will get there, I promise you. Just put these tips into place and just keep striving, guys, and enjoy it whilst you're doing it. All right, guys, I hope this helped. I know I was chatting a bit, <laughs> but I hope this helped. And as I said, you can help me by subscribing today. <laughs> so if you want to go ahead, click the notification bell also. So you don't have to we miss my weekly uploads. I've already told you they're Monday to Thur Mondays and Thursdays. So guys, press that notification bell now and I will see you when you subscribe on Monday. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.